The History of Qi Blocking Qi blocking is an ancient technique that has been practiced in secret for centuries. Blocking someone's qi renders the victim's muscles useless and temporarily disables a bender's abilities. It is mainly used by non-benders as a way of self-defense or even to attack. This ability was notably used in combat by Tai Li, the Kyoshi warriors, Thad and his disciples, the Equalists, and Taguka. Welcome to the Amagi. In today's video, we're going over the history of qi blocking. Before we begin, we publish new content every week, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. The first time the members of Team Avatar experienced Qi blocking was upon the group's initial encounter with Mei, Tai Li, and Azula in Omashu. The three girls attacked Aang, Sokka, and Katara after breaking a deal to trade King Bumi for Tom Tom. During the fight, Tai Li blocked Katara's Qi, rendering her bending useless. However, Sokka arrived and used his boomerang to free his sister, allowing them to escape. During their second encounter, Mei and Tai Li chased down Katara and Sokka on the shores of the Nanshan River. Despite being aware of Tai Li's skill, she still managed to Qi block Sokka, rendering most of his limbs useless. However, she hurt her hand when she attempted to Qi block his head. Tai Li's Qi block ability was again of use when Azula's team led an attack on Ba Sing Se with a drill. Ba Sing Se's Terra team attempted to stop the machine, but Mei and Tai Li took them down with ease. Tai Li dealt paralyzing Qi blocking blows to anyone who attempted to fight her. Later, the trio tracked down Appa once more and discovered that the Kyoshi warriors were with them. A battle ensued during which Tai Li utilized qi blocking to immobilize her opponents. The technique was used yet again after the trio invaded Ba Sing Se disguised as Kyoshi warriors. Katara came to them after seeing Zuko searching for aid, but once again Tai Li paralyzed her, catching her by surprise. Tai Li also immobilized Sokka and Toph when Azula threatened Earth King Kuei with her firebending, forcing them to surrender. The technique was utilized by Tai Li once again on Ember Island. Feeling threatened by several boys at a party hosted by Chan crowding around her, she used Qi blocking to free herself. Tai Li later journeyed to the Boiling Rock prison with Azula and Mei during Sokka, Zuko, Hakoda, and Suki's escape. The trio pursued them onto a gondola, where Tai Li faced off against Suki, who was anxious for revenge after being defeated by Tai Li before. Although Tai Li attempted to Qi block Suki again, the Kyoshi warrior was able to avoid the attacks, having learned from past experience. Later, when Mei and Azula prepared to fight after the former betrayed Azula by saving Zuko, Tai Li used Qi blocking to paralyze Azula and temporarily block her bending to protect Mei from harm. While in prison, Tai Li taught several Kyoshi warriors the art of Qi blocking and joined their group shortly after the end of the Hundred Year War. These lessons allowed Suki to Qi block San during an altercation in Seashell San's House of Shells, effectively rendering his firebending ineffective. The technique slowly became more widespread after the Hundred Year War. In the Southern Water Tribe, Thad had become a master Qi blocker by 102 AG and took on two students. They utilized their skill during a conflict with head chieftain Hakoda. By 170 AG, several members of the Equalist movement utilized qi blocking to combat benders during the anti-bending revolution. Aman, the leader of the organization and head of the movement, also frequently used the art of qi blocking. While abducting members of the Triple Threat Triad in Bolin, the Equalist organization was trailed and attacked by an angry Mako and Korra. In response, several of the Qi blockers turned to fight them, disabling their bending, an action which frustrated and stunned Korra. Aman brought a unit of Qi blockers with him to a midnight duel with Korra on Aang Memorial Island. As the Avatar was walking away from the island, believing Aman was a no-show, she was ambushed by the non-benders and Qi blocked, rendering her helpless when Aman faced her. Takuga also became knowledgeable of the Qi blocking technique and used it in 174 AG to temporarily stun the Creeping Crystal Triad when he and his Triple Threat Triad engaged them in a turf war. Did you enjoy our video? 